I think there should be something said about the electronics on this guitar uh, because it's not entirely clear from the start that this is the most important thing in this whole setup. Uh, without this switch it's just a humbucker plus uh, single coil, uh, you know, Mustang Telly, Jack thing, whatever you name it, scheme. Uh, so that's the humbucker. That's the single coil, and that's the middle. 
and, and you just you know go about those three combinations as you please master volume ma master tone not no strings attached nothing uh, over complicated but this thing is an off uh, on off switch for the mid which is engaged to any combination uh, you particularly choose so like with the middle position on it's right now with three pickups at the same time and this switch is a is a bridge uh, uh, coil tap it's a Dimazio uh, Dimazio PAF Pro uh, so it's got a real nice coil tap I would say So it's really, really capable of doing some cleans. This humbucker is very versatile, even though it's not like a completely vintage PAF or something. It, like it gets angry uh, real quick compared to uh, vintage PAFs, like like a Seymour Duncan, uh, you know, set lower. Uh, but it suits the guitar very, very well in this combination, in my opinion. And it works quite well with the uh, frailing, um, whatever I have, that uh, real 54 in the neck. When you when you remove a coil from the from the humbucker, it's basically like a strat, you know. So the bridge becomes um, your strat number two uh, combination. It's fairly easy when you get the, the idea how this works. Pay attention to how um, the top octave is really eager to sing. This is something that's um, quite difficult to do on offset type bridge and Mustang tremolo in particular. 
uh, they're just not, you know, they're very reluctant to be in um, singing in the top octave. Turn up is um, I would say it's one of my specialities. Uh, I spend an enormous amount of time checking for different capacitor types and values, uh, whatever fits specific guitar tone and specific pickup combinations. So sometimes it changes the pickups. Like in this guitar, this guitar has undergone several neck neck changes, and I believe this is the neck that, despite its minor trauma on on the six uh, string um, tuner this neck is really very well behaving on this guitar and whenever I change pickup I have to you know sometimes uh, do adjustments to the tone and volume knob because this part is really important in any guitar And otherwise it just won't do that. It should be wailing, wailing. And by the way, you probably can hear this echo, which is not a reverb from the from the amp. It's from the guitar itself. That's the tremolo speaking to the neck and the body. And um, this is also something that's very difficult to reproduce. But in general, with the tone and volume knob, I am aim for this kind of vocal, vocal character of um, specifically in the top pocket. But it's very difficult to um, to make them work well with all pickups because sometimes pickups are very uh, contrasting. So one capacitor value should suit perfectly each pickup combination which adds uh, challenge. But I think for that guitar this is just as perfect as it gets. Um, yeah. And like that, it's like a strat, really. I, I, I'm just repeating myself that it's it's a, a versatile guitar that can do more than just a humbucker plus single coil offset, you know, that kind of thing. It, it can really get into the strat territory. A knob, uh, the tone knob at 10 is a bypass, so this knob is completely out of circuit. You get all the high end possible from, from the electronics, thanks to no load born spot. We have all three at the same time with the humbucker split.
that's 50 shades of twang for you and that's the uh, bridge plus mid like in a strat <laughs> with a humbucker. It's a great guitar to have in the studio uh, because there's a lot of sonic combinations going on that you can choose from. And obviously that will also work well with particular amp you choose, you know, it's a very personal uh, preference but all of that exists in one same guitar if you don't like that you can go to your regular humbucker mode and that's it <laughs> just using the tone knob alone obviously when the tone knob works as intended Notice that the tone knob at zero is somewhat like not your usual tone knob. It's more like a, a, a raised wah pedal. That's because this particular capacitor has uh, a very thick metal uh, casing, which is a shield, a shield for it. And because it's built from thick metal, it's got capacitance of its own. Uh, which in terms of electronics is like a bug, like that's a real bad capacitor in terms of electronics. But what it does is it passes through some particular spikes of high end untouched. So it's like, it's not exactly like a roll off of, of the whole frequency, but rather than with particular, very sophisticated filter, uh, high pass filter uh, up in the end so this this capacitor is not like your usual you know ceramic disc or whatever it's got its voice of its own and I, I really appreciate what it does to the tone you know it's got that, 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 that kind of nasally structure that's still heard through like even at zero you can still hear that, you know, you know what I mean? It's like very, a very specific filter that the guitar is passed through. And, and from, from 10 to like, like three, it appears like to be not doing anything, but in a real concert situation, you'll find that it takes off just the very very nasty high end that you might not 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 be looking for in some specific combination like hissing of something uh unwanted you know um, hum unwanted you know uh sharpness of 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 uh, of the tone 
and then in the in the end it does like this filter uh-huh yeah, when I move from like three to zero uh, f from three to ten you all of a sudden notice that it really does something in between it does a lot but if if I if I turn it real slow, you'll not notice, and you'll be sure, not sure what it does. But it really takes off the twang from the top end, which is, in my opinion, how uh, a tone knob is supposed to work. In my opinion. And of course it's it's adjustable like if you want more of a cut it can be changed with a capacitor type of value like based on your preference but this is like my my preference my vision of that and with the volume knob i'm really looking for a very smooth swell that's why i don't use uh, uh volume treble bleed because it it like it doesn't make that perceivable high end difference from from 10 to 5 where the swell starts it's really important to, to take off that high end there if you want that swell and you take the the high end further with the tone knob and that's where the swell really becomes a thing and I'm talking a lot because there's like a lot of electronics going on it'll be completely lost if I don't explain all that um, there's a lot of subtle touches in, in guitars in the way I build them that's really something that should be explained like this volume knob is really easy to turn with one finger while the tone knob is impossible to turn with one finger and that's intentional so because you don't you don't want to accidentally change the knob setting on tone but you use the volume knob with your finger all the time so you rotate the tone knob when you really know what you're doing when you need to change it and that just doesn't happen accidentally with with the finger like sorry it's not visible on camera but it's really tight while the uh, volume knob is really light uh, the switch i choose is uh electro switch uh, brand the uh, switch crap that most companies use is just no no competitor to this the, the electro switch is silent there's no noise in between like even if i change the, if i change pickups real slow there's still no noise and it's got a very satisfying short click like it feels like a luxury item compared to you know you name it asian brand switch or switchcraft they they're all the same compared to that this is like real luxury um and yeah pure tone mono jack because they're reliable and just like that you know you build guitars to your liking I uh, hope you like it the same way I like them because you know things can differ from person to person but that's my vision of it and I think that's correct for this particular guitar might, might not be correct for everything but for that I think it works
and I think you, you hear that as a strat right now in neck mode. It really does strat things. can do a lot of things with a usable tone knob. Uh, if not in this guitar, I encourage you to explore the possibilities of the tone knob and rest assured that each guitar built for, for by the big factories, Fender, Gibson, you name it, has an unusable tone knob. It has to be altered to be uh, functional and i encourage you to do that to explore explore the possibilities of uh, using musical capacitors and and their values and their types and in general tinkering with the tone knob <laughs> because it does a lot of things thanks for watching Thank you.